All right, there's a hot new feature straight from Mr. Adobe. It's called Color Keyframe Labels. So what this means is you can basically take all your keyframes, you can right click them, you can choose a label color. How about this nice yellow color? That's kind of cool. But what does this really mean? Why is this cool? So just like how you can change the color of a layer, you can now do this with your keyframes. But why is this useful? Well, let's say you wanna grab all your rotation keyframes across layers like this. You can now assign them different colors. So how about, how about red for rotation? And maybe you wanna grab the scale keyframes like this and we'll give them a nice, how about aqua? That's cool. And if you imagine this with, you know, you have 10 times or 100 or 1,000 times more keyframes and things start to get really hectic really quickly, well now, if you wanna make kind of these big cascading changes across layers, it becomes a lot easier because you can right click and select the keyframe label group on selected layers like this or on all layers like this. And now we can make changes across layers much easier according to the parameters that you have chosen with your color stylings. You're the designer after all. Now there's a few more options in here to choose from. So you can see that we have visible keyframes on selected layers. So right now, if we choose visible selected keyframes on selected layers, selected layers, obviously it just means the layer that we have selected visible keyframes on all layers obviously means all the layers available however visible keyframes means keyframes that you can see right come on guys let's use context clues but what is an invisible layer that is something like this you can see here i have this little drop down here and if i toggle this keyframe to go away here that's represented by these little dots here so anything that's folded back now if i grab one of these keyframes and i select keyframe label group and then um, select only visible la visible keyframes on all layers now it will ignore those collapsed layers so if i drop this back down those red keyframes are not selected so it's just one more uh, element of control for you now, one more cool thing you can do is we can actually change the colors of the labels. So if I go up to the preferences here and I go to labels, uh, we can actually change what these colors are. So let's say if instead of green, uh, this kind of puke, nasty puke green color, I wanna make it a cooler neon green and I wanna call this uh, like neo green, like in the matrix, something cool like that. Now I can actually go ahead and change uh, one of these to be the neo green, like in the matrix. And now my timeline just, it looks a lot cooler. Um, so yeah, this is a another cool feature. It's in the Adobe After Effects beta. I think it's beta version 23. Uh, I'm excited about it. I think that Adobe is rolling out a lot of cool features. They are cranking them out now. They must they uh, must not be on summer break over there at Adobe HQ. So what do you guys think? I think a lot of people are gonna say it's, it's 22 years late and I agree with you, but I'm still happy to see them not ignoring After Effects, all right? You know what they say, better late than never. So let me know what you think about this. All right, thanks for watching, goodbye.